Hey guys, my name's Nick from NKM Landscape and Design. Watching YouTube the other day, just seeing how other landscape contractors are taking care of their residential commercial plow accounts, so I figured I'd start a video on how we do things here. So, I have two trucks that we send out. I have an F-350 and I have an F-550, uh, both with western plows on them. Um, and my truck takes care of any salting. So we do a couple big commercial accounts with a lot of sidewalks and shoveling them is a waste of man hours. You know, you spend way too much time, especially when the snow's wet and heavy, clearing the sidewalks and steps and everything. Um, and we have a couple smaller commercial accounts that we take care of that really shoveling the sidewalks isn't a big deal but when the snow's wet and heavy in February, March, it sucks. So we have the two trucks, we also have snow blowers, but even the snow blowers, you know, you guys would know, they get clogged when it's wet, heavy, and still takes too long to do the sidewalks. So what I also have is I have a four-wheeler that we run. We actually just put this together this year. I've had this four-wheeler a couple years now, not running, but uh, I just got this plow set up this year off one of my buddies. So it's a worn 48 inch plow. Uh, it just uses the winch to, to lift it and lower it. Plow does great. We used it the last storm for Harper uh, like two weeks ago or a week ago. This thing is great. Four wheel drive. My guys banged out the sidewalks in you know three hours. They did a, uh, our biggest complex. What normally takes six guys like eight hours to clear they did with four guys in three hours or three guys in three hours so this really cuts down on time and we just have a light bar on the front there four-wheel drive so it has no problem pushing the wet and heavy snow it is a Suzuki Vincent 500 this thing's a beast you know moving snow the plow lifts pretty high so if you got to lift you know You got mounds of you got to make mounds of snow you know it's a good distance off the ground and you have plenty of ground clearance you now you know that's the angle right there I'm gonna switch this one out next year for 52 or 54 whatever Warren makes um, I'll just buy the blade itself either that or I'll get the wing kit for and uh, just make it a little bigger. So as you know, when you angle it, you end up leaving trails. So you gotta go down the sidewalks twice rather than once. But this is great to cut down man hours. We just stick this in the back of the F550, the dump truck, and uh, goes and takes care of all the commercial accounts we have with sidewalks, and my truck can go and take care of residentials. Now what we used to run is this. This is a Craftsman uh, garden tractor with a 46 inch plow this also does great in the snow when you get towards the February March storms and the snow gets a little heavier and you're not keeping on top of it then it has a little problems moving it but other than that it does great you know for them light storms or if you're keeping on top of it you know plowing it every two three inches you have no problem I actually threw these meteor tires on it this year and it did good in the first snowstorm we had in November of like six inches. I didn't have the plow on this yet, so we weren't able to run this, but this thing cleared the sidewalks no problem. Manual lift plow, which I actually kind of like this plow. You know, helped us out for years. You know, height, and you can change your angle all off this, all, all off the handle right there. Lift it, lower it, you know, good. With my accounts, we have to put poly edges on these plows, or I did, because we ran into a problem with the uh, association worried about us ripping up some of their paper walkways. So, simple solution to cut down on their man hours, we threw poly edges on. They cost, you know, 50, 60 bucks a piece, you know, and you usually get about two seasons out of them. So, actually this one hasn't been changed yet from last year, and it still has life on it. So, great setups. I mean, this is our backup now. We're running this as our backup. Nice LEDs in the front to see, you know, and 
lights in the back. Visibility is key, especially when plowing at night. You know, my guys love this thing, but the guys really love this now. Like I said, we have snow blowers. We have, you know, two, three trucks. Um, well, two trucks right now that are out plowing. I have three trucks, so you know, we didn't get our other dump trucks set up this year for plowing and salting. But, you know, having multiple pieces of equipment is good, you know, for, you know, if something breaks, something goes down, you have a backup piece. I'm very big on keeping parts and backup pieces. You know, even when we go plowing, I keep, you know, I bring spare controllers and a couple extra plow parts with us for stuff we can fix on the side if we have to. Um, you know, it, but these machines, they fit great in the truck. You know, you unload them with the ramps, bang out of the sidewalk real quick. Even a couple of our residentials, I'll have the dump truck go and do with this. And, uh, you know, the truck could plow the driveway and the four-wheeler takes care of the sidewalks. You know, so anybody that takes care of large sidewalks right now and you have to have four or five guys shoveling or snow blowing or trying to snow blow, I would suggest at least investing in a garden tractor. I mean, I picked this thing up for 250 bucks years ago, and the plow cost me another 350. Um, over the years, paid for itself. This thing, um, I actually traded my buddy some log splitting work for this plow. So you know, I spent a couple hours splitting wood. I have a log splitter. He wanted to rent it. I, I knew he had the plow, didn't have the ATV for it anymore. So I decided to trade him, you know, the log splitter work for for the plow. Worked out great. This is our salter. And I don't have a big salter right now on my trucks. I'm actually looking at getting a tailgate one for my F-350. Um, but my commercial lots that I plow, I I'm, have my own accounts top of them subcontracted so my accounts very small commercial lots you know maybe a thousand square feet at most um, so this does great you know fit two bags of rock salt in there and hit this hit the sidewalks and spread the parking lot real quick you know it takes us 10 minutes with that I'm looking to get a tailgate salter for my f-350 but uh We'll see, we're already heading into February, so uh, maybe I'll pick up something used off of Craigslist or something, just to spread salt uh, for the rest of the season. Then next year, get an in-body for our other dump truck, which hopefully I have set up. So that's it. Any questions, comments, leave in the description, and uh, thanks for watching.